In this video, we're going to look at the probability integral transformation. And we'll state it as um, if we have a random sample from some distribution and it has a, a, a CDF, continuous distribution function, F, and I'm going to let this X represent that it's from this, has to be continuous. And then if we let Y equal that CDF, then Y is, is a uniform distribution on 0 to 1. And this is used so much in non-parametric statistics um, that it's worth showing here. And, and actually, my next video, I'm going to show how the Komogorov smirnov uh, non-parametric test is non-parametric, and it, and it relies on this fact here. So the proof is this. So the CDF is between 0 and 1. Okay? It, and, but if we let y be this value, then we know y is between 0 and 1. Okay? So we're, we're getting there. Now, if this is the, you know, the domain, then anything before 0, the CDF of y is 0. And any any y after one, oop, so the zero when you're less than zero, zero, and the CDF is one when we're greater than one. Okay, which are both characteristics of this. Now we have to examine what happens between zero and one. So if if y is between zero and one. We're going to define u as the largest number such that f of u equals y. Okay. Then f of x less than or equal to y if and only if x is less than u. And so this you kind of have to get in your mind. And if you draw a picture of a CDF, you know, that maybe goes flat and then up, then any of these x's here go to the same uh, CDF or y value, so you have to pick um, it's it's the largest value that makes it that value. Um, so then, so the CDF or so this is um, yeah the the CDF of y it's a probability that y is less than some little y, but this we're saying is f of x and f of x less than y is the same as the probability that x is less than u because of this step here and this here is just f of u f of x u um, but that's y so therefore um, f of y is uniform. This, the CDF is equal to y. And so that's the property of the uniform. So that's a simple little proof. And here, here is one of the, the, another consequence of the theorem. So if we have a sample from f, any continuous f, and then we take the order statistics. Then we put these order statistics in the CDF. Well, these are order statistics from a uniform 0, 1 distribution. And again, this consequence is used so much in non-parametrics that you don't actually have to know the, the uh, true distribution function. You only you know, we'll work with this uniform distribution. And then one more consequence that I think is always kind of neat, that we can generate random samples from any continuous distribution f using this integral transformation. So here, here's a generic CDF, okay? And, and this, is, this is x, and this is the CDF of x. So this is 0, 1. So if we you know, computers are good at generating random numbers from zero to one. So if we ran, if we generate a random number, and then back transform it to the x, you know, 
then we're generating a random sample from X. Okay, and so here's a quick example. So let's say we have an exponential with lambda equal one half. Then the CDF is this. And then if we let, say, so this right here is zero, is a uh, uniform zero one distribution. So if we let that be Y, and then we back solve for X, which is this. So now if we randomly generate uniform zero one values and plug them in here, then calculate X, that's, the, that's equivalent to generating a random sample from our original population. And this is how many computers generate random numbers on, you know, for distributions is they're very good at generating 0, 1 uniform distributions and then they back solve it for the populate desired population. So anyway, so that's all I have for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.